so in the last lecture we have uh, started discussing on 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 epidemic models right and we have seen models like uh, sir sis models these are simple models that were proposed long time back but these models are quite useful for for modeling the spread of uh, in fact covid 19 right so for example we have seen uh, right we have seen uh, this acir kind of generic model where there are there are five states right and and basically uh, it's a state uh, transition diagram from one state you can move to another state and uh, with certain probability of course now all these models like sir sis these models they take a subset of these sets uh, of the states and then then they create this uh, state transition diagram for example this is sir model we discussed last day susceptible uh, with probability beta as a susceptible uh, uh, you know citizen gets infected with probability uh, delta an infected uh, person gets recovered and so on and so forth right and then we then we derived all this um, differential uh, equations ordinary differential equations and then we can essentially measure the uh, number of susceptible users at a given point in time number of recovered users as a uh, at a given point in time and so on and then we uh, also discussed uh, something called the strength uh, strength of a of a virus which is beta by delta uh, probability of uh, infection probability of cure basically the fraction of uh, death rate uh, birth rate and the death rate and we have seen there is a nice correlation with the with the uh, with the eigen uh, largest eigen value of the graph adjacency matrix right so and we have also seen you know different relations between the number of iterations versus number of carriers and so on and so forth so today we will discuss and so all the discussions were mostly you know uh, based on real world epidemic spread models right say ebola spread model um, uh, measles spread model and so on so now we will discuss another uh, spread model another such spread model but this time on online social network right so so we'll see how information like rumor or fake news spread over social media and how we can basically model it using the same state uh, transition diagram that we have discussed okay so in this rumor spread uh, model right so this was this was a uh, paper published uh, long back in 2013 2014 during that time and uh, they basically tried to understand how rumor spread on online social network and they actually came up with four states okay so the first state is susceptible this is same as the previous one but in the context of twitter these are susceptible users are all the twitter users right the second state is infected right these are basically those twitter users who got uh, who who basically st uh, started believing on a particular rumor or started uh, spreading a particular rumor and so on right <laughs> similarly there is another state called exposed right this exposed states state basically indicates uh, you know those users who who are already exposed to the news for example say if i if i post a rumor all my followers will be exposed to that particular post right my tweet will be will, will be visible on their uh, twitter feed right so they are exposed right now some of them will be infected some of them will will further spread some of them will some of them will not react okay so there is another state called it's called uh, skeptics z right so skeptics so skeptical users skeptic uh, i mean users with this z state those are uh, that kind of users who essentially you know do not react to this um, to the rumor so they are essentially you know uh, hard immune right even if you uh, i mean even if there are say social pressure or whatever right they would never react to any rumor they would never react to any fake news right so so these are four uh, states right and you see these states are quite similar to the state that we that we mentioned earlier in the in the epidemic model right so now let's look at the transitions 
from one state to another state. So, from from the susceptible state with probability beta, you will be infected, right? Now, the 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 amount of population that are moving from S to I, a fraction of it would actually move to to E. So, among the number of susceptible users, there would be a set of susceptible users who would be exposed, okay? And and then from exposed state, they they may further move to the infected state, the, or or they may not, right? Uh, and and there would be some fraction of susceptible users who would directly be infected. For example, say there is a bot, right? Whatever I tweet, the bot will immediately retweet. Say there is a bot which basically retweets uh, Donald Trump's tweet, right? So whatever Trump uh, tweets, uh, that, that that bot will immediately retweet. So that bot is basically an infected uh, user, right? So so with so the amount of uh, you know population that that is moving from this this path, p fraction would actually move to i. And one minus p fraction would come to e, okay. And again, from e, from exposed state, uh, rho fraction would move to i, right? And the remaining will actually stay uh, uh, at the current state e. Similarly, with beta probability, uh, people would move from s to z state, okay. Now, some of them. Would actually be, uh, you know, skeptic, right? They would never react. So by default, all the Twitter users are are, are susceptible. Some of them are kind of uh, some of them have hard immunity, right? Hard behavior. They would never respond. So that fraction is basically L. Okay, and one minus L would basically move from S to E, susceptible to exposed, right? So. And you see that there is uh, some parameter called this epsilon, which is basically called incubation rate, kind of a noise, right? Which which can be used to control, and this this noise is is under the control of the user, right? So uh, you basically tune this this parameter uh, for you know for fitting your data points for, for for fitting the line with the data points, whatever curve with the data points, okay? So now, if this is the uh, state transition diagram, let's see what happens with the rate of rate of every population, every every state. So the rate of change of the susceptible user set would be. So the beta fraction would move from S to I, right? So each infected user would infect a susceptible user. With probability beta, so out of a susceptible user with probability beta, this many susceptible users will be infected, and how many infection infections are there? I, right? So and this would be negative because this population will be reduced, same as SIR model, right? And there is also this part, right? Uh, and what is this with probability? B susceptible users will move to uh, Z, right? So this one. Okay. Now remember this I, Z, right? Or E. These are fraction of users. Okay. These are essentially E by n. I'm I'm just ignoring n. I'm 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 assuming that these are basically fractions, not the actual number. Okay. So. Similarly, what is this one? Okay, this would be um, one minus p beta is i, right? Because this part it is beta is i, and this is the fraction of this one. And one minus l right 
and sum of them are also moving from e to y and what's the number the number is uh, sorry it's rho e i okay and of course this e right this epsilon epsilon into e is kind of a incubation rate okay this is d y dt this is d dt right now let's see what is d i dt okay d i dt so this would be with rho right oh, sorry with p with p beta is i this is the fraction and this is the total population and then you have rho e i okay the same quantity plus right what is dt this would be this would be l b s z okay so this is the these are the differential equations right so if you look at it again carefully let me erase this part so they also proposed something called the flux ratio what is the flux ratio so the flux ratio is the amount of population coming to the exposed state and amount of population moving out of the exposed state okay so this would be i this would be 1 minus p okay times beta i am just looking at the uh, the probability the fraction okay plus 1 minus l b this is the total influx what's the outflux outflux is rho plus epsilon okay so this is called flux ratio think about it more the flux ratio higher this numerator meaning that a lot of people are exposed right but very few of them would actually be infected right and if it is lower it means that that um, a lot of them are infected because this number is high okay so a kind of flux ratio between the ratio of uh, uh, effects entering entering a node which is being examined to those uh, leaving that node okay and turned out and and essentially they uh, uh, in this particular paper they looked at some real events okay and some fake events okay and it turned out that for uh, i mean if you just plot say uh, y axis is the flux ratio okay and you have different bars corresponding to different events okay say this is event 1 event 2 and so on and so forth so it turned out that for for real events the flux ratio is quite high okay so you see larger bar graph for real events whereas for fake events this ratio is is quite low okay what does it mean it basically means that for real events people are 
uh, exposed to the uh, that particular news quite often but they do not react therefore the numerator is high denominator is low whereas for fake events people are exposed as well as infected immediately right so they they tend to retweet whatever they see so therefore fake news spread in fact uh, much faster and 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 wider compared to the real news okay so you see that in this way uh, you can you can uh, essentially incorporate the epidemic models to to basically model how misinformation rumor spread on social network so these are the equations that i just mentioned okay so we stop here in the next lecture we will discuss uh, the last model which is the ic model independent cascade model and and then we will conclude this this particular chapter thank you <laughs>